purpose of the Pan Am Cultural Festival was to showcase the Pan American culture that's here in our backyard as well as throughout the country, the province, and throughout the world and using the Pan Am Games to educate people about the culture, the music, the dance, not just the sport. It was really important to include a lot of the local cultural groups as they were affiliated with the different countries represented uh, with the Pan Am Games. And it's really incredible to see how many different cultural associations are right here in the Kingston area. So this was an opportunity to give them a platform to educate the community about their culture. Pan Am Games, it's a pretty big, exciting event and it brings a lot of different nations together. We're all about bringing nation unity, so we were really honoured to be asked to come and drum and share some of our culture with all the many other cultures that are being shared here. One of the favourites whenever we perform, it is the Bear Song, and in the Anishinaabe language, Bear is Makwa, so it's a bit more of an upbeat song. to sing these songs because it helps keep our traditions and our culture alive. Um, a lot of uh, the culture is sort of fading into antiquity so by resurrecting some of the older songs and singing them in their original languages we're helping to keep them alive and also bring them forward into relevance uh, back into today's society because there is a growing interest uh, in, in native cultures. At an event like the Pan Am Games where it's many different cultures from all across the Americas coming together it, it seems fitting that we would want to share some of the original cultures that were here. Some of the songs that we sing are sung in what's called vocables and they have mostly ways, hays, yas and hoes and the purposes of those songs were when different uh, cultures would get together they could share and sing the same songs uh, despite uh, differences in language. We have members uh, with a Mi'kmaq background, um, Algonquin background like from uh, around this area, uh, Mohawk and Abenaki. Um, I myself I have uh, Ojibwe in my ancestry. We don't let that sort of be the boundary of the songs that we learn, like we learn other songs that Iroquois, Lakota, as many of the different uh, nations as possible in our musical repertoire. I didn't even really know I had Native in my background until I was an adult. My ancestors, they hid their, their heritage in order to protect their family. Um, so once I learned that I had this in, in my background, I wanted to learn more about it. And when I came across the drum group and they asked for me to join, learning this music and these songs has really just opened my world wide open and it's, it's given me access to my culture and it's allowing me to teach my family about our heritage. So it's, it's tremendously important to me to be, to be a member of this group. here to do a cultural workshop focused on Aztec drumming. The festival is about the Pan America, showing the diversity of the Americas and it's really celebrating culture. Canada is made up of like a beautiful mosaic of cultures. 
My focus, my workshops is on the Mesoamerican culture. I do a lot of drumming workshops, West African I do, and uh, Brazilian, and the Aztec too. For me, it's the drumming. It's just about unity and, you know, like we're all similar, you know, like no one's better than anyone else. Everyone's like on equal playing field. And that's one of the beauties about the drums. It's uh, for everyone. One of my biggest passion was just uh, my own roots and my own culture. So that's what the Aztec. I just feel really connected to my roots and my ancestry. And it's about uh, being proud. And growing up here in Kingston, uh, like I was always different. But uh, like that, that's something that it's OK to be different. And it's something that, uh, that I, I just love that I'm embracing now. Um, it's been a working progress, but uh, yeah, just em embracing your roots and uh, embracing diversity and culture. And uh, I think cultural awareness is very, very important. So this one has different sections, but we'll just go work on the first section, okay? So this one goes just one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll just keep looping that, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. very cathartic like just I go to a different place and it's a beautiful place and it's also not just about me but also creating uh, or being a part of helping creating a community where it's accessible to, to anyone so similar like I host uh, the free community drum circles in Kingston so it's called Kingston drum circle so I go to the park and I just bring a whole bunch of drums and primarily it's West Africa but I there's always a the wide range of instruments and that's what it is about that it's not about one culture it's just about you know everybody coming together and just letting go and expressing and you know sometimes you don't need the words you just need the rhythm it's about like everything's about rhythm and vibration too so I was just uh, just yeah I'm just really excited that I'm a part of uh, yeah the drumming community here in Kingston yeah.